planet Earth, 7.3 billion people, all with the same needs. No matter who you are and where in the world you live, there is one thing we all have in common. We all need food, water, clothing, and shelter. And wherever you go, you have to pay for it. Humanity's number one common denominator is money. Money creates a sense of security. It shows us a way to accomplish our dreams and therefore most of us end up spending half a lifetime chasing money to pay bills, make a living and meet our needs. Money not only helps us accomplish our dreams, it's also an instrument of destruction and some associate it with greed, lies and criminality. Money is both the champion of the good and bad, and to many, it still remains a mystery. It's a fact that regular currencies today are not backed up by anything but our own beliefs, and central banks globally are holding our future in their hands with a tight grip. Money means power, and this information can truly empower you if you are willing to be open-minded and learn the truth about money. The financial crisis 2008 almost brought down the world's financial system. Central bankers and other regulators bear responsibility for mishandling the crisis. Many people and companies were bankrupt overnight, but at the same time, great opportunities were born. There is always two sides of a coin, and after centuries of economical challenges, we are about to discover that there are better ways. Out of the crisis 2008 grew one of the greatest financial opportunities ever, and it challenged the whole monetary system in a heartbeat. It was created and born out of years of frustration and distrust to the banking and monetary system. Cryptocurrency was a fact. Bitcoin's blockchain was written 2008, and despite criticism by financial regulators, institutions, governments, and media, it had a tremendous increase in value. Only between 2009 and 2013, the value of a single coin went from 0.1 US dollar to over 1100 US dollars. People who had invested in Bitcoin became multimillionaires over a very short period of time. And it's probably one of the most discussed economical successes ever in financial history. One of them was a young Norwegian man who invested 26 US dollars, only to forget all about it. A couple of years later, his modest investment of 26 US dollars had turned into over 850,000 US dollars. It was an expensive lesson for anyone who was introduced to Bitcoin at an early stage, but who turned it down. What if new technology allows everyone in the world to be their own bank? free from taxes and banking fees. Cryptocurrency is built on math, technological computer software with a shared code that connects a global network through the internet. But how do we know it can be trusted? Traditionally, we are programmed to rely on trusted third parties like banks, credit card companies, and remittance services as they keep track of the money being transferred from one to another and we are being charged tremendously for it. We are in the habit of paying big money for something that could be free of charge. Most trust banks so dearly that they think they are solid, honest and reliable. But what if there are ways that can cut out these middlemen, charging us huge amounts that are cheaper, safer and faster? While many people associated with anonymous black market trading, it is actually far from transparent than you may realize. Just think about it. Today you can easily copy and download music and movies online. And cryptocurrency is digital, just like music and movies on internet. So listen closely, as this is key to understanding cryptocurrency. 
Can you trust that your digital money will not be downloaded as easily as your favorite songs? How can a digital currency retain its value and not be copied online? The interesting thing is that cryptocurrency is not a file on the computer. It is, rather, an entry in the public distributed database called the blockchain. Let's compare it to today's banks. They keep ledgers of each transaction with a plus and a minus in databases. With cryptocurrency, bank accounts are replaced by an e-wallet where you alone can control it. The ledger of a cryptocurrency is the blockchain. The blockchain or the ledger of a cryptocurrency keeps a record of every coin and every transaction ever made, and it always balances since the amount of coins is non-changeable and no coin will ever leave the system. When one coin is sent somewhere, what is really being sent is the control of the database with a code that is a unique key for that specific transaction. As transactions are made, the ledger, the blockchain, is constantly synchronized across the globe. Each user in the entire network has an identical copy, and since the blockchain is public, it cannot be controlled by any person. There is no single point of failure. To hack the blockchain, hackers would have to target thousands of computers across multiple geographic locations, all at the same time. It may not be impossible, but it is made much more difficult and is a lot more secure than the present banking system. The whole system has the potential to replace banks and bankers worldwide. Many people are happy with the system we have today simply because they don't understand it or simply because they cannot grasp the amount of money we pay our current financial system in fees on a yearly basis. Cryptocurrency is the total opposite of the banking system today as it is completely transparent, and no one can change either the amount of coins or the mathematical rules dictating the creation after the mining has started. Cryptocurrency is therefore, through the limited amount of coins, impossible to inflate. Cryptocurrency truly holds the potential to make our world more fair. Today, billions of people are living without a bank account while many more have a smartphone. That can give you access to a global personal banking system through the technology of cryptocurrency, banking for everyone. Cryptocurrency is to banking what the internet was to telephony. The most exciting thing about it is not anything that we have seen yet, but what it will become in the future. Bitcoin had a tremendous breakthrough and put cryptocurrency on the map, but the pioneers soon showed there was plenty of room for improvement for future success. New cryptocurrencies were developed and the awareness of the new economic system grew rapidly, opening doors for a much safer, more powerful and user-friendly cryptocurrency. One coin, the Cryptocurrency 2.0. The founder, Dr. Ruzia Ignatova, born in Bulgaria and raised in Germany, have a solid background in finance. She completed both her master's degree in economics and PhD in law simultaneously in Constance and Oxford in only four years. Despite her young age, she has already been working as the youngest associate partner at McKinsey. While at McKinsey, she worked for Scarabank, Allianz, Unicredit, Raiffeisen and other financial institutions. She has also been doing projects with Deutsche Bank Frankfurt, setting up Russian investment banking operations. She was the CEO and CFO for one of the biggest asset management funds, managing 250 million euro in assets. As soon as cryptocurrency became a success globally, Dr. Ruja saw the potential in improving the new technology and soon became an expert in the new financial era, cryptocurrency. This led her to do consulting work for several cryptocurrency companies, and she has since then written books about cryptocurrency that have been translated into various languages. Year 2012, she won the title Female Entrepreneur of the Year in Bulgaria, and 2014, she won it again for her innovation of OneCoin. 
With a powerful background and an urgent drive to improve the existing security challenges for cryptocurrency, Dr. Ruja has refined the technique further and she has developed a new system that would almost eliminate the risk of theft. Creating a traceable coin was proven to be a good move and has been welcomed and seen as a great opportunity in countries across the globe. She also knew the importance and power of an active network and what an effect it would have in the future and with great passion for education, she quickly started to educate people financially, giving them tools to acknowledge the opportunity that was about to take off. And last but not least, she made sure to open the door for everyone. Uplifting people all over the globe to be able to profit from the same opportunity as any highly knowledgeable or well-educated person with special knowledge in the field. One coin started the mining process the 20th of January 2015 at a live event in Hong Kong and has, since the launch, seen a tremendous growth of over 650,000 miners in over 195 countries. At a live event in Dubai in May 2015, the starting value of a one coin was set at one euro five cent, twice as much as first expected. The expected increase in value over the upcoming years is as follows. By June 2016, the expected scenario points at between 2.2 euro up to 5 euro. By June 2017, the scenario points somewhere between 50 euro and up to 100 euro. Does it sound too good to be true? Did the Bitcoin story sound too good to be true? To many of us, it certainly does, but it happened anyway. The scenario is not a guarantee in any way, but keep in mind that the expected increase in value for a one coin is only a fraction of what Bitcoin did. The demand of one coins today is very high, mainly because of the simplicity to be part of the concept, but also because people are discovering all the benefits and the security one coin as a cryptocurrency can give them. With a high demand, the expected value of a single one coin will, over the next couple of years, increase and we can expect a very decent capital gain. In June, OneCoin was listed on the website xcoinx.com and is already today the second biggest cryptocurrency in the world and it took just over a year to reach the market capitalization of 1 billion US dollars. By joining OneCoin, you get the One Academy, a powerful financial education put together by the founder Dr. Ruja herself and a university. The education is filled with empowering tools to easier understand the historic aspect of money and you can choose from six different levels of this powerful financial education. The One Academy covers everything you need to take the lead in the new developing economy. So how do you get involved? To be part of OneCoin, you can join the global OneCoin network. You can create a free account and when you decide to be part of the mining pools, you can start out as low as 130 euro. On top of the One Academy, you are given free tokens that will enable you to be part of probably the biggest mining pools ever seen. Where you, by submitting your tokens, will be able to generate coins to your own personal account. This is to help as many people as possible to be part of the mining process without special knowledge or equipment. A very powerful way of empowering people everywhere. Since the value of cryptocurrency is based on supply and demand, it's easy to understand that with a growing network, the value is increasing. One coin is by far the newest, the most modern and innovative cryptocurrency in the world today. And the founder, Dr. Ruja Ignatova, has the ambition, experience, and the extraordinary ability to educate people to learn, understand, and profit from the gold of the internet, cryptocurrency. OneCoin has, since 2014, been spreading around the globe, gaining ground of hundreds of thousands of miners, traders, and users, rapidly adapting to the new company, improving people's lives in every corner around the world. The current monetary system we know today is going through a tremendous change globally, and we are moving into a new era. Now, you have a completely transparent opportunity in front of you, 
and the best part of it is that you can design it to your own preferences if you are interested in building your portfolio and creating a profitable stream of income. This is your chance of being in the forefront of something new, something emerging, and something that future historians would refer to as revolutionary. By joining the concept, you not only profit from the cryptocurrency, but also position yourself for the future economy. We believe that decision-making is based on information, and it's now up to you to make use of the information given to you. Make sure to get your questions answered by the person who showed you this video, and get started. Remember, it's no longer a question if cryptocurrency will have an impact on our future economy. The question is, are you ready for the new economical change emerging upon us?